New story title, Decoding the Lexical Tangle, The Nuances of High and Tall in English. TL, DR, a deep dive into the English language has led us to a common point of confusion for English learners. The words high and tall, though often used interchangeably, hold subtly different meanings. While tall typically describes objects with notable height compared to others of their kind, high is used in a more abstract sense, denoting elevation above ground or above a certain level. Delving into the fascinating labyrinth of the English language, we stumble upon two words that often befuddle language learners, high and tall. In our everyday lexicon, these words may seem interchangeable, and yet they each bear their unique semantics. The word tall is predominantly applied to objects and individuals, representing a comparative notion of height. For instance, one might describe a skyscraper as tall or comment on the impressive height of a basketball player. But what about a mountain or an airplane in flight? These are described as high, emphasizing their elevation above the ground or a relative level. However, the question arises, why do these distinctions matter? Can't tall and high be used interchangeably without creating confusion? To that, we might ask, can the subtleties of a language not shape the richness of our expressions and perceptions? Language is the cornerstone of our societies, the medium through which we navigate our world. Each word, each nuance, each inflection carries weight, embodying a particular concept or idea. As such, understanding these subtleties is crucial for learners and native speakers alike. By appreciating the difference between high and tall, we not only enrich our linguistic competence but also enhance our ability to articulate our thoughts more precisely. While it might not always lead to misunderstanding to use high instead of tall or vice versa, isn't the power of language to capture our world in all its complexity worth the effort to learn these distinctions? Can we not strive to master our words, just as a painter masters his palette, to create vivid and accurate representations of our experiences? As we move forward, let's continue to ponder, how does our understanding of these linguistic nuances impact our communication? How does it shape our perception of the world around us? And most importantly, could paying more attention to these subtleties pave the way for more meaningful conversations and deeper understanding? First seen at Collins Dictionary. What do you think? Can small differences in language understanding lead to significant changes in our communication and perceptions?